hello to the 2023 Nissan Rogue SV. My name is Christopher, this is Cars Unlocked, and with an MSRP of 36,598, Nissan's made a few changes to the Rogue lineup this year, and let's jump into it and find what it's all about. So we've done a lot of Rogue test drives on my channel, and um, this SV drives very similar to some of the other ones that I mentioned with this new engine. And the three cylinder engine's great. Like, uh, say what you guys want about the CVT, but Nissan has stated and they've publicly stated that they've improved the CVT. So, this is maybe, like I said before, do or die for Nissan. Um, hopefully, they can get some of you negative commenters off the CVT, but it's going to take a long time. Like, only time will tell how long a transmission lasts. You need like 10, 15 years to gain that reputation back. But, it drives well, it's a smooth acceleration. That's the other thing, like everybody wants to jump in the car and step on it, but with the CVT, it's a smoother acceleration and you take off slowly and gradually as opposed to a huge jump and step on the gas. So for 2023, Nissan got rid of the SV premium package and they now went up to the SL. So this is kind of right in the middle here. We have the Rogue S and we have the SV. The SV comes with an all-wheel drive drivetrain. You cannot get it in front-wheel drive. And we've done videos on the SL. We've also done videos on the SV Midnight Edition. So make sure you check those out on my channel if you guys want to see the different trim levels. But this is one up from the base here. And let's look at the front end. Now, as we know, Nissan changed the Rogue in 2021 and they redesigned the whole thing and the feedback on it was phenomenal. So we've seen little changes to the styling of the Rogue because why change a good thing? You can see they've added these kind of dual stacked headlights right at the front here. You have the LED accents on the headlights as well. There's automatic high beam assistance and automatic on off headlights. Chrome V-Motion grille throughout, that's kind of a staple of the Nissan lineup. This specific Rogue that we're shooting today is in the gun metallic exterior. It's a gray metallic color. And we have our flattened out Nissan emblem. There's features like forward emergency braking. There's intelligent cruise control and pro pilot assist, which we'll talk about when we go for a test drive. So new Nissan intelligent key. We've shown this on the channel before and you get the remote starter as well. Great for the winter time, cold day like today. You can just start it up from a distance and you can turn on the heating and get the car warmed up, ready for when you get in. 18 inch aluminum alloy rims come on the SV. It's a two-tone aluminum alloy rim. You have front and rear disc brakes on the back, turning signals on the mirrors as well. And then there is a camera as well. So you get the around view monitor when you go up to this SV package. You also get your rear privacy glass, so the back windows come tinted, body color matching rear handles, and roof rails are on the top, and you can add accessories like cross rails and things like that. With this SV, like we're getting on the highway now, so um, I just ease on the pedal there, and great throttle response that takes off. And this will be a perfect time to check out some of these safety features. Um, I can just see it notifying me now. The wheel is vibrating because I was just going a little outside the lane. Um, the wheel vibrates and it has that heptic feedback wheel. And now we can try out this Pro Pilot Assist. So I just need to turn it on here and hit set. And it locks me into my lane there. Turn on that lane assist. So it will help you stay center in the lane and I can see it light, lit up there. So it really helps for long drives. Uh, you have less fatigue and the seats are great on long drives. Like the Nissan seats are incredibly comfortable for those long drives. So as I mentioned, this one comes all wheel drive and we do have the all wheel drive badging. I love this Rogue stamp right on the rear. And then we have the backup camera right underneath. There's also rear parking sensors as well. Now, if you're towing, you would have to 
put a tow hitch equipped on, the road can tow about 1,500 pounds if you're towing with that new engine that they put in last year, which let's go check out right now. So we've talked about this before on my channel and now comes with a three cylinder VC turbo engine. It's a 1.5 turbo engine, 201 horsepower now, and you get 7.6 liters per every 100 kilometers combined or 30 mpg 225 pounds feet of torque so it's important to note that the nissan rogue is still made with the 2.5 four-cylinder engine that we saw from the past and that was in the base model when you go up to this sv package you add the turbo engine you get the better output and increased fuel economy these paddle shifters i don't really find myself using the paddle shifters very much like and when I say very much, never, like I never really use these paddle shifters. Comment below if you guys use the paddle shifters, but I don't really see the need for these in a Nissan Rogue. So with this SV, you also get an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat. It does have this kind of cloth stitching throughout. It's a two-tone cloth interior. Comment below what you guys prefer. Do you prefer cloth in this SV or would you go up to the leather that's in the SL? Push button start so you can start it up with the push of a button here. Nice little shifter knob that Nissan added when they redesigned it. It's a square shifter knob, very comfortable. You have electric parking brake, and then you have the different drive modes. On our steering wheel, Pro Pilot Assist controls. We have our paddle shifters as well, and then we have our radio controls and our Bluetooth controls. Eight inch touchscreen comes with the Nissan Connect infotainment system. You can connect your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, Sirius Satellite Radio as well. How's it sound? Sit down. There's six speakers in this thing. It does sound great. If you like the Eagles, this is channel seven. And digital temperature control comes in this SV as well. So heated steering wheel, heated front seats. Lots to love, lots to love. Now here's your backup camera which you can see comes with the 360 around view monitor. It's like a bird's eye view. We have our moving object detection. And then if I just push the button here once, I can see my parallel view. I can see my wide angle. And then when it's in drive, it switches to my front angle. So great if you do a lot of city driving, you have an underground garage and you need some assistance parking where it's tight those cameras are gonna come in handy. So with the SV, when you go up, one of the reasons why you might wanna go up is for this huge sunroof. Boom! Let's a lot of light into the car. Very large sunroof that everybody loves. Automatic high beam assistant is great. The high beams turn on and off at nighttime. I really can't show you that now, but at nighttime, the high beams turn automatically on and off when it senses a car coming in front of you using that forward sensor that it uses for the Pro Pilot Assist that we use now. So lots to love in the car, great fuel economy. That's one thing I like about this turbo. There's great throttle response, great power, but better fuel economy. And I think that's what we're all going for right now. And you do have lots of space in the back, lots of storage up front, tons of safety with the blind spot monitor. So comment below guys, is this SV the package that you guys want to buy? or are you looking at the higher packages like the SL or the Midnight Editions, even the Platinum? And then this is where the little kiddos are gonna sit. There is quite a bit of space back here. Uh, just for comparison, I'm 5'9", and I still have a couple inches of headroom here, maybe one inch of headroom. There's a USB and a USB-C for you to charge your phone, cup holders in the doors, and cup holders in the center armrest. And in the back, you have a nice large trunk. I was a little disappointed that Nissan got rid of the divide and hide storage feature. You just have your spare tire underneath, but you do get more room and space in the back of the trunk. This is your privacy cover. And then the back seats fold down if you do the Ikea thing or anything like that. Um, stay tuned or check out my channel because we have uh, walk around through of all those trim levels so you guys can compare. As always, if you're new here, comment below what you guys think. Like, subscribe. As always, do that. Very easy to support, support your creator. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, Abba just came on. Ah.